professors in that school of journalism don't back those students. This is an important learning experience for you. Yeah. Be proud of it. Jess, what do you think? Well, not just that, not only covering it, but saying, you know, we apologize for contacting people, real grown-up reporters, people who would be at the DeMille yeah. School of Journalism. Yeah. Um, it's disconcerting. I'm just already, but like, is that... Is that what students are learning? That a capitulation, a hesitancy, a fear at all times, that's literally what is driving output. It seems like no one anymore, or at least in right. schools, are being instructed to be strong and firm and put it out there and then move forward because now the story mm -hmm. has maintained on that and it's the sub after effects rather than the actual issue that was at hand. You want reporters to cover it. It's just, it's shocking to me. It's a good point to segue to your new book though because you're talking about, I mean, one of the reasons why you do so much on history yourself, it, but it's about reminding people about the real history yeah, of America. I, you know, when I did George Washington's Secret Six, it took me 20 years to research it. But it, I never knew by the next book and the next book would be a war in our history. Jefferson statue's got to come down. This statue's got to come down. This guy wasn't that great in 2019. Uh, and look back at other generations and say they're not as good as us. Mm. I mean, we're, we're a work in progress, but we want to get better. And that's what Sam Houston, the Alamo Avengers, is about. And I'll be in Huntington tonight at Book Review and hopefully talking about that. Wow. Okay. Because you have nothing else to do during the day. And you're right. not doing anything in the I morning. I don't go to the clubs the like radio. I used to. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Brian Thanks Kilmeade. So much. We will go out and get the new book. Thanks to the rest of the couch as well. We are back here at noon Eastern tomorrow. And now, here's Harris.